What is good everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today we are back with a brand new video, man, and I gotta be honest with you, this one's kind of bummerific. This is a one that, uh, this is a one that sounded terrible. This is one that is, is very, very upsetting, man. I, lots of things to unpack today, man, but late last night I stayed up all the way until the crowdfunder officially ended the Mattel WCW Nitro Stage Ultimate Edition deal with the Rey Mysterio and the Scott Steiner, at least at base level. And so I stayed up until the buzzer at 2 a.m. Central Time. I do believe is when it finally ended and I think that was midnight on the west coast out in the pacific time zone So I stayed up until the buzzer man I was refreshing I was waiting until the absolute end of the campaign to see if there would be a final push for the crowdfunder at the buzzer. And we did need 5,000 backers to make it, and it ended up being around 3,950, like 3,952 or 39. It was somewhere in that range. It was definitely around that area. So we were about short 1,000 backers of the of backing the project fully. I thought that we would have a late push. I thought that we would make it on the last couple days. It just seemed like the, the trend was moving up, especially I think it was like earlier in the week. I think it jumped by like five or 600 in a day, and then it went up to like 3,000. And we were still days away, and I felt like we were going to get one final push. Unfortunately, it did not come to fruition. And so right now, as of recording this, there aren't any updates. There's no, you know, update from Mattel or anything like that. I'm guessing we'll probably get something on Monday, possibly, addressing the crowdfunder or maybe they're just going to let it roll off and we'll get an update later on it's just like yeah it didn't get back so maybe that'll be the case but i wanted to use this video to kind of discuss my all overall thoughts on the entire deal where i think it went wrong talk about my disappointment talk about you know what could come for the future and just talk about the entire thing for a little bit so let's go ahead and just start off man getting into this thing when it was first shown off i did make several videos on the channel about this entire thing i talked about my thoughts initially i talked about you know this and that and the other and at the end of the day i am very disappointed that we did not make it just because I think that the stage is so beautiful. I got to see it in person and anybody that saw it in person knows how gigantic and how crazy the whole thing is in the first place. I think that it's a beautiful project. Like the stage was absolutely immaculate. The lights, the stage, like this is a wrestling figure collector's dream if you were to see this thing in person. And even if it doesn't hit you in the feels as far as nostalgia, like even if you didn't grow up during that era or you've never even seen that stage before, just the sheer size of this thing and how epic it is is what made me want to back it like I like it's not even right up my alley of zone like obviously a ruthless aggression fist stage or even the raw is war attitude era stage would have been more my style but this is still a stage that I 100% wanted to back and wanted to come to fruition just because of how beautiful it is man the possibilities were endless for play and posing and display I mean you had so many options I backed two of them I, I, I was thinking about backing a third I just think the ability to move it around and all that different stuff is just absolutely insanity and I think this thing would have been uh, epic and who knows I mean they may come, come out on Monday and say they're extending it or something like that but we'll get into that a little bit later but this is a beautiful piece and I'm very disappointed right now that it looks like it's dead in the water my disappointment is immeasurable and my day is ruined and it won't shock me if nothing's done. It won't shock me if, if we don't do anything whatsoever and they don't tweak it or whatever the case is, man. I don't know how all that stuff works. You know, maybe they'll come out and say they'll tweak it. Maybe they won't. But I wanted to talk about some of the things that... I wanted to come out and talk about the negatives first off or just the things that I think they could have improved on or things that could have gone differently that may have made it easier to back or that would have captured some more backers in this instance. So starting out first, man, we'll, we'll start off hot. The first thing that went wrong with this project, I'm going to say, is the figure selection itself. I think that the figures did not set the world on fire, right? They weren't very unique or flashy. I mean, yes, you have the Ultimate Warrior in that really unique look from the Jax figures, but... It was a, you know, it was, it's Ultimate Warrior. A lot of people out there do not want another Ultimate Warrior. But, I mean, that's at the best case, right? We needed 11,000 backers to reach him initially. I know they moved him down. But initially, we needed 11,000 backers to get that. But a lot of the names in this project were names we've already seen. We only had one first time on the line in this entire project in the Scott Steiner, which is the MVP of the entire set. That's the one that everybody said. Like, we pulled a lot of backers moving him up into the 5K range, which was a, a, a nice nod of the cap to Mattel for actually moving him down. But I think I think Hulk Hogan as the early bird kind of hurt this thing. I just don't think it was it was different enough from his other Ultimate Edition figures that we've seen. And I guess, I, I mean, Hulk Hogan probably being in it to begin with is probably not the greatest thing just because we have so many of them and he gets revealed at a clip. But I guess if you're going to put Hulk Hogan in it, it probably needed to be some sort of NWO look or some sort of Hollywood Hulk Hogan look. Updated tan, things of that nature. And I know they're going to plug that into the main line later on, 
but I'm just trying to get all my thoughts out on paper. And then the Rey Mysterio, we legitimately have so many Rey Mysterios. In the last few years, we have seen so many Rey Mysterio elites and, and, and now the Ultimate that's coming out that I just don't think it was a name that probably should have started in it. That maybe could have been the final figure in the set with enough backers or something like that. And then the DDP, we've already seen this DDP attire before two times in the elite line so i think going a jeans ddp here which is again he's probably going to be in the monday night war set later on but i think putting him in the jeans here would have been a lot more appetizing to a crowd i think that you know they would have been like oh man we're finally getting the ddp in the jeans the rib wrap stuff like that do like a new skinny jean mold and again i don't know the i don't know the backgrounds and all the the funding and the budget and all those different things for this thing but i'm just thinking again i'm just putting all my thoughts out there so those are just kind of some of the things about the figures itself i just don't think the figure set the world on fire but for me it wasn't even about the figures i've said this multiple times they could have included five different hogans and i still would have backed it just because i wanted the stage i felt like the stage itself was enough for me but that's just for me right that's just me talking from my own personal experience. Everybody has their own different opinions about that and their preferences when it comes to this thing. So that was probably the biggest issue that I saw was just the figures. I think if you included five figures that were absolute studs that were like, damn, these are good figures, you probably wouldn't have had that difficult of a time backing this thing. Like had Sting not been in AEW, had Sting been available to be made and we got an ultimate Sting in this thing as an early bird or something like that, I think we probably aren't even having this conversation right now. But hindsight's 2020, and I think the other biggest issue that faced this entire project was the international issues, man. I think that they cut a lot of people out that would have backed this thing had they not included all those fees and all those different things in the price. Now, I don't know which is better because I'm not an inter international collector, so I can't tell you, oh, I would rather them do the customs now and, you know, so I don't have to pay for them later. Or actually, I'm going to ask you guys, if you guys are from anywhere else besides, the, if any outside the U.S. collectors are watching this or backers of the project or whatever the case is, I would like to know down in the comment section below, would you guys rather have the customs up front like Mattel said or would you rather pay for the customs and all the different fees once it's time to pay for that because I guess instead of fronting $800 or whatever the case was you would have paid the 420 or 430 it may have even been more than that I know they charge you guys shipping as well so would you have rather paid the full price up front or would you have rather had it kind of cut in half or kind of split a certain way due to the different customs and stuff like that that you guys have to pay so what Mattel has said is they pretty much included all the customs fees and all these fees that international collectors would have faced if this thing came to fruition and I believe last time, didn't they just send it to you guys and then you had to pay the customs afterwards with the new gen arena? Again, I'm not an international collector, so I can't speak on that specifically, but it seemed like a lot of people I saw, the, one of the biggest comments I saw was international collectors are getting F, international collectors are being screwed on this thing, and that was one of the biggest issues that I saw. So I think that is also a huge part of it. You probably get at least a few hundred more people if you don't have those custom things like that. You don't have all those fees and stuff like that fronted at the beginning. So I would love to know what you guys are thinking on that. And I mean, it was like nearly double the price. It may have even been double the price of what US collectors had to pay. And that right there, I mean, that's gonna that's gonna take a lot of people out of it right there. So I'd like to know if you guys are international collectors and you could speak on that. I'd love to know what you guys thought down in the comment section below. And then I feel like all the advertising for it very late was kind of odd. I mean, obviously, all those things helped, I'm sure, boost the numbers a little bit with all the different things. And if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, I'm talking about DDP talking about it, Rey Mysterio talking about it, Hulk Hogan did a, a vignette about it. It was put on SmackDown. They talked about it on NXT. I mean, they pushed this thing hard all week to try and get as many backers as possible, and we came up just short of 4,000 backers. And I feel like, what if right when the thing went live, Hulk Hogan came out and said, you know, Co come get my action figure back this thing early and you get my figure who knows what kind of breach that would have had i don't know if that would have gotten any more backers or not i'm just kind of again i'm speaking just uh, getting all my thoughts out here so you guys can let me know what you guys think do you think it would have helped if they would have came out from the beginning with all this different advertising and then regurgitated it later on? But I know that's also money right there, I'm sure. So I don't know, man. That's just one of those things that, I, that I've thought about. Maybe that would have helped just a little bit. But I think the biggest disappointment for me with this thing is not only are we not getting the stage, but I'm just thinking about the future. You know, if this one didn't come to fruition, they're not going to do a Raw as War stage, bro. They're not going to do a Raw's War stage. If this one didn't happen, I don't see them doing that. You could say, like, duh, the, the Raw's War stage is probably going to have more backers or more people that want it, and probably a bigger fan base would probably want that one. But they even came out and said, and I don't know if this is true or not, I'm just going based off what I know, right? I have to go based on what I've been told by them directly. They said that the Raw's War stage would have been 
significantly more in price. And then you throw that in with international collectors, would have been like $1,000 probably with all the customs fees and stuff like that. So when you talk about, oh, they should have done the Raw as War Stage first, they have came out and said that if they would have done the Raw as War Stage first, it would have been $200 more apparently because they needed to get these molds made with the WCW stage so they could be used for later usage. And again, I don't know, I don't know what goes into all that. I don't know all the processes and all those things that work. So I can't speak on that directly. I'm just going based off what I've been told. And so if that's the case, there's no way they're making another project like this in the future if this one didn't get back. Do I think a fifth stage would have funded? Probably. How much would people have paid for it, man? I just hope that this isn't used as an undermining deal like in the future because of this project not getting back. It's like, oh, well, this didn't get back. Now this won't get back. There's no way if this didn't get back, this won't get back. And then it hurts all the potential things that we could get in the future. But that's the reason I back... That's the that's the main reason I back the new gen arena. Like, obviously, I would have backed... I'm backing any project they put out anyways because I want to review it and talk about it on the channel but the first crowdfunder for me the only reason i back that one is because i wanted to i remember it vividly talking about how i'm backing it because first of all i wanted to talk about it and review it and i love all things wrestling action figures but it was for future projects like this Nitro stage. Not exactly like this Nitro stage, obviously, because it's not right up my wheelhouse. Like, I like it, and I want it. But it's not a Ruthless Aggression stage. You know, it's not a fist stage. It's not raw. It's not, you know, right there in the in the heart and soul of my collecting heart. But it was more of, let me back this so that I can give a better chance to the future of getting what I necessarily really, really want. And now I'm worried that now that this one didn't make it, that won't happen in the future now. And that's bummerific, man. That sucks. I'm just disappointed. It really is disappointing because I wanted this thing, man. And I hope it's not over. I hope it's not really dead in the water now. I hope they, they can make some tweaks or something like that because I know they're collectors too. The people creating this are people that want this thing to come to fruition. So I know they're going to do everything they can to make it happen, but I don't know if they've already exhausted every option. So that'll be another thing as well, man. So, And in my own personal opinion, I think this one is much, much better than the first go-around. I think this stage and this presentation and all these different things is way cooler than the new Gen Arena. The new Gen Arena set was amazing in its own right, but I think this one's way better. Did you see the image of the, the new gen stage set on top of this WCW Nitro set? It just kind of goes to show how big this, the Nitro set really is. Ha! <sighs> Overall, man, I'm just disappointed. I'm just disappointed in it. I really, really wanted this thing to come to fruition. Again, I guess it still could possibly. We don't know what's going on behind the scenes. Or maybe it is dead on the uh, dead in the water. Apparently, they were working on this thing for seven years, man. That's what the design team said. They said that, like, seven years ago. They, they said that they've been working on this project. Not, like, the full thing. It's just they've been working on this stage, I think. Like, trying to build this stage for seven years and for them to work that long and hard on it for it not to come to fruition at the being only right at a thousand backers short is it's just that would be such a letdown man oh man this just sucks man just feels like a giant L and something that we easily could have made happen. It just seems like it was so reachable and then to have it like yoinked out there at the end and to not make it really stinks. But I want to know what you guys think down in the comment section below. I don't know if we'll make another video about this. I guess it'll just depend on what Mattel says. Maybe we'll get an update or something like that. And then if we do get an update, I'll definitely tell you guys about it and we can talk about it and discuss it here on the channel. But I want to know all these things down in the comment section below. Where you guys stand, where international collectors stand. Why do you think this thing did not make it to fruition or why do you think we didn't get the 5,000 backers at the time we needed the 5,000 backers i would like to know all those things down in the comment section below man but i'm getting out of here thank you guys so very much for watching hope you guys did enjoy but that's pretty much gonna wrap this video up man we did have a new patron sign up yesterday huge shout out to my man connor downs for signing up for the patreon thank you so much brother if you guys are interested in becoming a patron of the mdt youtube channel definitely go get in on that but i appreciate connor so very much Link in the description below for that Pro Wrestling Tea store. Thank you guys for watching. Leave me your thoughts down below. Have a blessed one, and I'll see you next time.